Welcome to day 15 of my A4R Advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program the A4R APIP microcontrollers. So here we have paper bag number 15, so let's take a look what's inside this paper bag. Okay, we have two things in here. The first one is a dip switch. Mine has 10 positions or 8 positions, but yours can only have up to 4 positions, so this is enough. And here I have another integrated circuit. This time it's the 74HC165 and this is a parallel in serial out shift register. And today I want to show you how to read in the values of dip switches or buttons over this shift register by using the SBI interface of our app Mega Microcontroller. So first let's take a look at the datasheet of the 74HC165. So here it is, and we can see here the block diagram. So basically these pins here A to H are 8 input pins and we can connect a button or our tip switch to these input bits here. And if we give a pulse on this load, um, load input here, the value of our input pins will be loaded into these shift registers down here. Now if we apply a clock signal here, the data will be shifted out on this QH pin or on its inverted QH not pin here. And what we can do now is we could connect um, our SBI clock to this clock pin here and our master input slave output pin to um, this output here. And then we can read in up to eight digital inputs over the shift register. So here is the setup I want to do. Here is our dip switch. I have added some pull-up resistors here and it's connected to the input to input pin A to D of this 74HC165 integrated circuit here. The rest of the pins I've tied to ground here. And this is our load pin. I will control it over port B pin 1 here. This pin here is our serial clock or uh, yeah, from the SBI interface and this pin here is the slave um, output master input pin here and this is all the setup. One important thing to mention is I will use um, the UART interface to transfer the data from um, yeah, from um, the microcontroller to my PC so I can see which dip switches are set and which are not. Okay, so please now let's give me a minute or two so I can do the wiring here on my breadboard. Okay, I have completed the setup. So now let me CD into my um, A4R Advanced Calendars folder. And here let's use um, the ADC here as a template for this video. So let me copy 14 and create a new folder 15 SBI. 74HC165 and let me navigate into it. Okay, so let's open up the main file. So here I have a function to print a zero terminated string over UART, which I will need later. And here this I will delete because I don't need this function here. So here I am enabling the UART. Then we have to in it we have to in it the SBI interface. Therefore, I will set the direct directions of the pins. So we have PB5 is an output. This is the clock pin, I think. PB3 is an output. This is the master output slave input pin. Then we have the master of oh, the chip select pin, and we have our pin for loading the register, which is PB1 here. Okay, then I will write to the SBI control register. So I will set um, it into master mode and I will set a prescaler, a clock prescaler of 128. And then in the second access, I can enable the SBI interface by writing the SBI enable bit here. Okay, and here in this endless loop, we will do the yeah, well maybe let's, we will implement the logic for reading. So the first thing we have to do is we have to toggle 
the load pin. Therefore, I'll, all I have to do is I will um, write to port B, output register, and I will set PB1 here. Then I will add a small delay, let's say 100 milliseconds, oh, microseconds, and then I will reset the pin here. Okay, now let's start a new SBI transfer. Here I will just um, write um, all ones out, and then I will need to wait for um, the SBI transfer to complete. And I can do this by checking the SBI interrupt flag in the SBI status register. And now I can read, finally, I can read the um, yeah, value. So let me create a new variable here. Let's make it an unsigned int 8 bit. And now the value is we just have to read the SBI data register again. And now I need a for loop to print out the value of all my four um, switches here. And of course, I need a variable here for it. Okay, so first let's print out a new line and then um, dip switch um, and yeah I need a small I need a yeah I need a small buffer here five bytes are enough and all I'm doing here is I'm setting buff zero to um, I plus zero and buff one to a space and buff two to zero here and then I will print out the buffer here and if um, value and one shifted by I is bigger than one I will print out a 1 and else I will print out a 0. And then we will have this delay of 500 milliseconds and then we will do a second print. Okay, so that should be it. Let's try to compile it and let's see how much mistakes I've made. Okay, this looks good. So ADC, okay, I don't like this. We let's go to the make file and name our target SBI in. Let's build it again. Now we have here our SBI in um, hex file, and we can flash it by using a4r dude. And this time I want to flash SBI in dot hex. Okay, we already see it's sending something over you so let's take a look at it. Okay, but the data doesn't seem valid. Give me a second for troubleshooting. Okay, so I found and fixed the error. It was basically <laughs> um, this low pin here is negative. So by default, I wrote uh, um, a one level to it. And down here when I'm toggling it, the low pin, yeah, I'm driving a low level and then the high level. And this was about the mistake I made. And now when I want to see the data, okay, I can see here I've set one dip switch. Let me set another one. So let's do this. Okay, now we can see we have two ones here. Let me, let's set one more. Yeah, so you see it's basically working now. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's how to use the um, SBI interface to control um, or to read in um, digital inputs over a parallel in serial out shift register. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. Thanks for watching and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!